Yeah, I know. I know, Warren, I know. He's a complete scumbag. I know, I get it. Believe me, I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. Elon Musk is a crumb. He was 1 million percent trying to manipulate the market last week. Getting on Saturday Night Live, talking crap about some cryptos. Then he dumps his Bitcoin, saying they're not environmentally safe. I mean, yeah, he's a piece of shit. We all know that. But look, Warren, I gotta go. I got something uh, brewing here tonight I think you might want to check out. We know you're uh, known for uh, giving some uh, advice. I'm going to give some advice myself tonight on my uh, Beers, Bands. Beers, Bands, and Guitars with Barnes review, all right? So check it out, Warren, all right? Make sure you tell your friends to subscribe. I need some more subscribers. All right, I'll talk to you. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. Friday night episode. Beers, Bands, and Guitars with Barnes. Just on the horn my man, Warren Buffett. Talking about that scumbag Elon Musk. If any of you out there that watch my channel and tune into my reviews, lost money. I'm truly sorry. What Elon Musk did last week was despicable. I kind of hope he gets in trouble for it. Doesn't look like he will, but who knows. Anyway, we're here. It's Friday night. I figure we'll uh, do a review. And tonight's review got a little theme to it little moon theme, if you will. You stick around to the end, I'll tell you exactly what I uh, mean. But in the meantime, let's uh, get to the uh, theme and the review. First, we're going to start off with a little uh, strumming. Sorry, I know, but it is sort of a guitar channel, too. I won't bore you too much. Maybe 30, 40 seconds. Hopefully, it sounds like what it's supposed to sound like, but you tell me. Supposed to be a little bit of a Credence Clearwater Revival, some Bad Moon Rising. Because tonight, on my channel, I'm gonna review some moonshine. Oh, yeah. Some of my friends out there know what moonshine did to me. I haven't touched this shit since probably 2017. And for good reason. And thankfully for everyone that watches, tonight will not be a repeat of my 2017 episode. If you don't pay attention to my reviews or uh, listen to anything I say, listen to this. Do not, do not eat the fruit that's been sitting in moonshine for months at a time. It was a very bad experience. I don't ever want to experience it again, but it happened, so nothing I could do about it. If I get this damn thing open, there we go. This is a bottle of moonshine that my man Jim Porter gave to me a while back. So we're going to uh, give the old Blackberry Shine a review. It's brewed in Ben Salem somewhere. Or so it says. It's my dog crying. Probably wants me to get done. But uh, here we go. Alright. A little Blackberry Moonshine. On beers, bands, and guitars with Barnes. 17.5% alcohol, so this will kick your ass. Be careful. Cheers. Ooh. All right. Doesn't burn. Definitely tastes like blackberry. And thoughts of 2017. 1,000% pop back to my head when I was drinking that. So, uh, I won't be finishing this jar anytime soon. I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator. Maybe a few sips here and there. But score-wise, honest to God, it does taste really good. It's supposed to be a corn whiskey with uh, natural flavors. Those natural flavors being blackberry for this one. 
It's brewed right in Pennsylvania, like I said, in Ben Salem. I'll give it a 7.3. I think it deserves a 7.3. It tastes really good. Nothing crazy about it. No gasoline taste. So uh, we'll give it a 7.3. And stick it in with my uh, moon theme. My little CCR strum. And Elon Musk being a crumb. Everyone should go out there and seriously look at Safe Moon. I honestly think Safe Moon is a good investment. You might be happy that you did it. I put, I think, 400 bucks into it. Nothing crazy. But if it gets to where they say it's going to get to, I might be able to uh, retire early. That's my hope anyway. But right, everyone, enjoy your Friday night. It's beautiful out. Got to get my dog some water. I think that's why she's crying. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow another review. Have a good night. Oh, Neil Moss, go after yourself. What you did last week was despicable. And you ought to apologize. See ya.